Hi guys, this is Rice Snow. Last time we created a title screen, so now we have this simple looking title screen. And in this video, we will implement player life. Let's start. I have created these heart sprites. So there are three images. So blank heart and uh, full heart and uh, half heart. So I'm going to copy these images to okay, this object package. Okay. Then we create another object class. So another class and I'm going to name this obj heart. And this class also extends super object. And okay, I think we can borrow the format from other object class. So uh, let's copy and uh, paste and change the name heart. Heart. And okay, so here, so unlike other objects, this heart class has three images so blank half and full so uh, let's open this super object and add two more buffered image here so image two and image three not yamj image image two so now we can read three images here so uh, copy and paste and image 2, image 3, and okay, so first one is heart full, and the second one is heart half, and heart blank. And then we're gonna scale them, so image 2 and image 3. Okay, so yeah, this class is done for now. Now go to the entity class and uh, add two integer variables. Character status. So first one is max life and life. These two integers will be shared by player and monsters. Okay, then open the player class and uh, we set player's life value probably here inside of this set default values. Uh, player status. So first max life. So you can choose any number here basically. And uh, I'm gonna choose six and life equal so default is max life. So this will be player's current life. And in this game, one life means half heart, and the two lives mean full heart. So six lives mean three hearts. It might be a bit confusing at first. But please remember this basic concept. So two lives equals one heart. Okay, now go to the UI class. And here we will display player life on the screen. So first we need those heart images. So we prepare buffered images for that. Buffered image. Heart. Full heart half heart blank then we get these images uh, somewhere around here create hud object uh, super object heart equal new obj heart and uh, pass GP. Okay, 
first heart who equal heart dot image heart half equal heart dot image two heart blank equal heart dot image three like this and next we draw these heart images on the screen so uh, okay so inside of this play state we call a method so draw a player life or something and i'm gonna add this method in this pause state and this dialogue state too so player life still displayed in these screens but it's up to you if you want to hide player life during the game is paused then uh, you don't need to add this one and we create this method so public void draw player life and first we decide where to display the heart image and i want to display somewhere around here so First x call gp dot tile size like half half tile and uh, y is also half tile. This is the starting point. So I mean we are drawing multiple hearts. So if player's max life is six, we draw three hearts and. Uh, we handle this drawing by creating a while loop. So first we create an integer int i start from zero. Then we create a while loop. So while i is less than gp dot player dot max life divided by two. Then uh, g2 dot Draw image uh, heart blank x y no then i plus plus and also we increase the x by tile size like this. So first we draw the blank heart image so according to the player's current max life. So yeah, remember, two lives mean one heart. So that's why we divide this max life by two. And after drawing a heart, we increase the i and x by uh, tile size. So the next image will be displayed on the right. Yeah, so let's check this. Oops. Wow, it's so small. Why? Maybe something went wrong in scaling. Ah, yeah, okay. Um, we needed to get the scaled image. Yeah, sorry about that. This is <laughs> this was my mistake. So. Now it should work. Check again. Yeah, okay. Mm. So three blank heart images are now displayed. So basically we have displayed the player's max life here. And now we will display the player's current life. Draw blank heart. Okay, first let's reset this values so reset draw current life okay let me change this draw max life now we draw not blank heart but half heart or full heart images so while i g2 
pp.player.life. So this time the length is set by not max life but the current player life. g2.draw image heart half and x y no. So if this i is less than the current player life, first we draw a half heart. Then increase this i. Then we check again. If i is less than tp.player.life, then this time we draw heart full. So if this increased i is still less than the current player life, we draw a full heart. And after that, we increase this i again, and also increase this x tile size. Oops, tile size. So if this condition is matched, basically we replace this half heart with this full heart. And after that we go to the next heart. Yeah, that's how it works, so let's check. Hmm. Okay, so now three full hearts are displayed. Because player is currently at his max life, but if we change the player's current life, okay, so player.life equal 5 then so player has only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lives if it's 2 like this yeah so that's how we display player life and next we create an event class and uh, implement some sample events so we can give some damage to player and also recover his life. 